So after exploring the entirety of this park and all of Mad Mulligan's mine, I think it's safe to say Dry Rock Gulch was really not what I was expecting it to be. Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. Because I was thinking there'd be survivors out here and that maybe they'd give us some kind of option to fight back against the Raiders ourselves. But no, they were just all completely dead. So I'm kind of curious to know what you guys thought this place was going to be like. Everyone down there was actually all dead. As for the outlaws, though, I did get rid of them. That mine was the nest for a bloodworm queen. Now that she's gone, this... Whole area should be a lot safer. I can't understand a word of what you're saying, but you've been the best deputy this side of the Mississippi. Here, take some souvenir bottle caps courtesy of the Milka Cola Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch anytime. By friends, do you mean the Raiders? Okay. But yeah, so far it just seems like this is yet another zone we can place our raiders down in, and I guess they'll get to work. But maybe those guys were alive at one point, I'm not sure how long ago. Because Chip was acting like they were still out here, but maybe just struggling a little bit. That was the flag out here. Come on over and find oh, out. it's up top, okay. And by the way guys, if you're wondering, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go operators again for this one. Just so they have a few more than the other gangs. Not sure if that's gonna make the others happy, but what the hell. It should be fine. So now that's three zones down. Let's see. I think next up we may want to head over to... Yeah, we'll go Safari Adventure and then save the bottling plant for last. Although, before we do either of those, one of the raiders back at the marketplace mentioned something about this camp. So I was thinking maybe we should head over that way and see what that place might be. The thing is, I don't exactly remember what the raiders said about it. So that being the case, I guess it'll be a surprise for all of us. Oh, and really quick, maybe we should set a marker on it. Just so we know where we're going. Although it really doesn't seem like it's too far away, does it? So I'm sure we could have found it without that thing, but whatever. I'm actually pretty surprised how much extra stuff is out here. It's kind of cool that it's not just the park. But yeah, this just seems to be some random old house. Not really sure we need anything here, but we'll check it out. Because there is always the chance we might find, you know, a magazine or some kind of rare weapon out here. I guess this place is pretty much completely empty, though. Although this over here seems a bit like a farm, doesn't it? So that could be a little more interesting. That's not going to spawn in a behemoth, is it? No? Okay, good. Because in Fallout 3, I'm pretty sure there was some teddy bear you could pick up and... 
that would bring in a behemoth. Alright, that should kill him. Okay, let's see what he had. Staggering hunting rifle. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. So what exactly is out here? Or is it just completely barren? Aside from those cave crickets, I guess. And another question I have is why they're on the surface? Or is there potentially some kind of cave around here that we could go explore? Honestly, that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I guess for this area, that's everything. So we'll continue heading out this way. I do kind of wish they would have put a little bit more, maybe in terms of loot. Even if it was something as simple as, I don't know, some extra food or ammo. Okay, this area looks a little more exciting. I'll be honest. Excuse me. Welcome, stranger. We are herbologists. You may have heard of us. No? Ah, oh, well, if you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Habology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Okay, I'm gonna ask what for, but I'm also pretty happy to see them wearing spacesuits. Because maybe that's why we couldn't drop ours. Hubology? What is that? Before the Great War, a brilliant writer named Dick Hubble invented a process for expanding the human mind. Through the process of alignment, he was able to give his followers great mental powers. I am his direct descendant and keeper of all his secrets, collectively known as Hubology. If you are really interested in joining us, go speak to Phil about having an alignment. We can help you find inner peace and happiness. We can help you master the amazing powers of the mind. Okay, slow down there, Dara. Nobody said I wanted to join. Although that being said, I wouldn't turn down any caps. I'm always for hire if the price is right. Good. We need spacesuits, like the one I'm wearing. I'll pay you 200 caps for five of them. I've learned that there are some in the galactic zone of Nuka World. I lost two followers trying to get them ourselves. I'm hoping you'll have more luck. Kinda depends on how much you're willing to pay. And also... Um... Real terms, and you return to us. If you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Habology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Yeah, and I was wondering why you're wearing those space suits. Guess we're not gonna find out till later. That was a bit strange. Okay, so let's get this one on. And then see where it goes from here. And just to make sure, we didn't have a miscellaneous quest going for us, did we? Okay, we did. And before we head off... Let's see what this place is all about. Well, this is looking a little creepy already. Pretty sure they strap people up to that chair. And then would most likely conduct some kind of strange experiment.
But I guess that might be just about everything. Oh, maybe each person here is someone important. Hey. Welcome to our camp, stranger. You should go see Dara. She's out front by the mailboxes. Don't go bothering me. Dara is who you want to see. Wearing that suit of hers. Well, turns out I already met her. So I doubt that's going to be any use. Although I am wondering what this might be over here. We can't get inside, can we? Um... Oh yeah, maybe we can. I guess they are just bathrooms though, aren't they? Alright, so... Let's get a move on towards the park. Pretty sure they were somewhere in there, weren't they? So I am actually pretty excited we might get to see these spacesuits be put to use. Join us on a journey into the future. But also a little Where disappointed we never really got to figure out what they're going to be doing with them. In the year Cuz honestly, she just kind of cut us off, didn't she? Life is possible underground. Welcome with Vault-Tec's modular construction techniques. New colonies can be established on almost any world. But there we go. That's 3 of them. So now we just need two more. Beyond. Oh yeah, here we go. The last two. Oh yeah, and I also meant to ask that lady for more money. Because I'm pretty sure we could have pulled it off. But once again, we'll just go ahead and make our way back. Wait a second, what? We do have all five, don't we? Yeah. Alright, hopefully that's not just some kind of bug. Okay, it seems to be fixed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, at least I hope so. Yeah, here she is. The wheel turns and you return to us. That's right. The wheel turns, and you return to us. If you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Habology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Believe it or not, you've said that already. And like I told you earlier, I'm for hire. I'm always for hire if the price is right. Good. We need spacesuits, like the one I'm wearing. I'll pay you 200 caps for five of them. I've learned that there are some in the galactic zone of Nuka World. I lost two followers trying to get them ourselves. I'm hoping you'll have more luck. Depends on if you have more money. I'll need more than that for this job. Okay, I'll give you 250 caps. And it would be nice to know why you need these spacesuits, if you don't mind. What do you need spacesuits for? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. They will protect us in the battle to come. Battle against who? Alright, you know what? Just take the damn things. I've already got them. Hub's blessing. It was truly fated that we meet. Here is your payment. There is something else, though. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. Will you help us? There's a spaceship in the junkyard? Why is this the first I'm hearing about this? Why do you want to capture the spaceship? It is central to Hubology. We are destined to make it fly. More than that, I cannot tell you. It is secret knowledge reserved for AHS 7 members. So it's not real then, is it? You do know it's not a real spaceship, right? Your mind is limited by neurodimes. 
If you had my expanded mental powers, you would see the truth about the spaceship. Expanded mental powers? Is that really what you're calling them? I mean, she did pay us, didn't she? So maybe we owe it to her. Together, we can capture that spaceship. I knew I could count on you. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather. Form the wheel. I am Rim. The spoken the hubs, hubs support me. The time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. We can liberate the junkyard and take control of what we need. Thanks to our mercenary, we have the spacesuits to protect us from the robot guards. So put on these spacesuits and take up your arms. We have a mercenary to lead us into combat. They may be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you. I'm guessing I should probably put mine on too, shouldn't I? Unless she took ours as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, hang on. She might need one more thing. Hi. Or not. So that being the case, where exactly is this junkyard? Should we just follow them? Oh, oh damn. Oh, they're rad rats. They're so damn small, I couldn't tell. I'm guessing that over there must be the junkyard. Hopefully we can keep all these guys alive though. So I'm pretty sure she needs all of them to fly that ship. I had no choice. I saw something. Guess my good karma's paying off. Let's do this. Oh man. That thing's already lit up too. Hopefully there's not super mutants up there. Hang on, guys. Wasn't there one more of those things out there? Yeah, I could see the dust moving around. Oh, there it is. Let's do and who this. knows how long it's going to hide this time. All right, finally. That takes care of him. <sighs> 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 
So what, is this place already secure? Oh, and that must be the spaceship there. And that's kind of like the ones we would see inside... What was that place called? Nuka Galaxy? I think that's what the ride was. And is that her already over there? Oh no, that's a mannequin. Alright, well let's see if she has anything to say. Because for some reason they're all just standing around. <clears throat> You're more experienced at fighting than we are. How should we do this? What do you mean? This place is empty, isn't it? I guess if I see anyone, I'll take the first shot. When you hear me start shooting, you join the fight. We'll wait for that signal. Good luck. Okay, so maybe there is some kind of creature lurking around here. Let's see if we can see it before it sees us, then. So not a creature, but robots. And I don't think he was the only one, either. Alright! Still in one piece! Yeah, for now. Let's just see if we can start making our way over there, though. And is it just me, or are these guys quite a bit bigger than... Oh, it's because they're both broodmothers. And then how do we make it to the ship? Is it just somewhere around here? Yeah, seems like it'll be on the other side of this whole thing. And you know what? Some Rad X might be good right now. I gotta say, though, this junkyard has pretty much got an ecosystem of its own. Crickets and ants down in the caves, robots and mole rats up top. And who knows, that might not even have been the last of them. Oh, shit. That was close. And this isn't a real gorilla, is it? No, it must be a stuffed one. Maybe from Safari Adventure. Alright, now they can form that wheel of theirs. I am the remnant of the 
focus 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 we fought a great battle today. A battle we could not have won without our friend. But our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the greatest reward Habology has to offer. For now, rest. And celebrate! You have earned it. So how do they plan on making this thing run? Excuse me. What a glorious battle. You were magnificent. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. Oh, you're damn right I will. Hub's Alien Blaster. That is awesome, because before there was only one in the whole game. And this one looks like critical shots do double damage. And the critical meter fills 15% faster. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again. But we don't have any fusion cores. I have some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't use them on power armor. So I should have plenty. You have to listen to me. The spaceship is just a carnival ride. You can't make it fly. The Star Father has promised me that it will work. It may look like a thing of make-believe. But we will make it work with the Star Father's blessing. So will you at least get the power running? Yeah, sure thing. But... You never did explain to me why you needed it. You don't plan on actually taking it to space, do you? Why do you want to fix that spaceship? It will carry us to our new home. More than that, I cannot tell you. You have not progressed far enough in your treatments. Alright, well... It does sound interesting, to say the least. So I don't see why not. I'll be glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space-worthy. Alright guys, let's do this. Kinda wish you could throw them in all at once, but whatever. I think there might only be one more anyways. Or whatever that is back there. Oh, that's the distributor. Which makes me wonder, do we have that yet? Oh yeah, we must. Okay, so this thing should just be upstairs somewhere. Oh, man. It's a good thing that's not real. Oh, and here's one more fusion core. As if we really needed that. You know, there are a lot of dead raiders around here. Wonder why that is. Okay, nice. Here's another star core. So honestly, apart from taking our spacesuit away, this quest really has given us quite a few new cool things. And for all we know, we might even get that thing back.
Okay, guys, here we are. And there goes the distributor. <clears throat> the lights! It's amazing! You've done it! Into the spaceship, everyone! We need well, just because the lights are on doesn't mean it's going to fly. Come inside with us and turn it on. You'll see that the hub's prophecy is true. Eh, whatever you say. Isn't this just some kind of ride that would spin around and then they just get stuck to the walls? Oh my gosh, okay. This almost hurts my head. Visions. Because at the I've moment, we're not the ones moving, but it kind of looks like we are. But it's really them that's spinning around us. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Yeah, trust me, lady, you're not the only one. Something's wrong. Shut it down. Shut it down! Oh. <laughs> so that's why this thing is in the junkyard. Okay, duly noted. <laughs>